Baby, good morning, good morning. This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. This is Hammer Time. You are in Hammer Time. Hammer, hammer, hammer time. Hammer, 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 hammer time. Hammer, hammer, hammer time. Yeah, some special effects right there. Hammer Time is the time that I share with you guys in the morning to, uh, to help you guys stay in the right mindset. And uh, as artists, we tend to we tend to uh, be very emotional, you know. So I try to talk about getting out of that space. I mean, you don't you don't have to leave the passion. You don't have to leave the the things that matter to you as an artist. The the whole intensity and passion of being an artist. But we do have to cut the BS, right? We do have to cut the bullshit right from the beginning so that we can move on, so that we can start going after bigger and better things that we deserve as artists. I see a lot of artists out there talking about how, um, how, how difficult it is, how hard it is to, to buy things, to, to exhibit, to, to sell stuff and whatnot. And I don't think that most people that are talking about creating art and selling artwork and all that good stuff are really doing much. Here's the reason why I don't think. Because it doesn't look that way, right? It doesn't look that way. Now, I know you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but, but when, it comes to, when it comes to work, work ethic and that kind of stuff, you can you can see right away who's doing what. If if people are just taking a little photograph next to their painting, but but they're not really showing you process, they're not really showing you. Um, they're not showing you a day's work. They're not showing you other things. I feel like they're 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 not doing themselves and you justice, right? They're 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 doing sort of a disservice to the community. I think it's important to show what's going on, to show, um, to show the process. It doesn't mean that they have to all be teachers. It doesn't mean that they all have to, but, but show the process. That way we can see the fruits of the labor. That way we can see, you know, okay, what what have you been doing? Do you create artwork? Do you do you um, ex do you do exhibits? Do you have a studio? What what is it? Are you a working artist? I think there's a lot of like life coaches out there, you know. Well, I know that there's a lot of life coaches, and 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 there's been a a, a, a flow or influx of entrepreneur coaches talking about being an artist. And I keep hearing this bullshit that I'm going to share with you guys right now. I keep hearing this whole this whole lifestyle, this be an artist and have this artist lifestyle. And I think it's a disservice. I think that it's great that you, I don't know, want to have a lifestyle. But when, they, when, they, when I hear the words lifestyle, I know usually what they're talking about. They're talking about working less and living more. Look, I'm completely against this idea of working less and living more because it doesn't exist. Not, not, because, I'm, not because I'm against it as in... As in Oh, that would that would be nice, right? To live in a in a sort of vacation life like state. I don't know. It doesn't exist. Anyone doing something is working their asses off. Anyone doing anything, working very hard. Uh, even if they have, especially especially if they have many employees, they're working very hard. If they don't have many employees, chances are, uh, it's very difficult mentally. It's more difficult mentally than anything else. The more in place they got, then of course it's it's more there's more there's more movement. Yes, and you heard me right, artists should have employees. Artists should have staff. But that's for another video. Look, the whole lifestyle thing, it it, it, it makes me panicky. When I hear when I hear artists being like, be an art entre entrepreneur, they call it entrepreneur. And have this lifestyle and whatnot. It's a very beautiful concept. It's a very nice concept, but it doesn't belong in the work. It doesn't. 
It doesn't go together with work. See, I've learned this the hard way. Every time that you're trying to, you're trying to create the lifestyle, right? Where you're like, I want my weekends off. I want to be my own boss. I only want to work a few hours a day and on and on and on. You can definitely achieve that. I achieved that before. Uh, you know, I only want to work a few hours. I only want to, you can definitely achieve that. But before you know it, before you know it, you start, you, you automatically, when you say stuff like that, you automatically hit a, a flat line. And before you know it, you start going down. Because for anything to work, this is what I've learned from a mentor, it requires tension and maintenance. It, require, it, it requires for there to be tension. It requires for there to be movement. It requires, in other words, it requires a lot of focus and work, right? It requires focus and high levels of work and high, of course, high levels of focus. So my, my thing here is, look, guys, it's awesome that you want to be a, an entrepreneur, entrepreneur artist, and you want to have this lifestyle as an artist. It's really cool. It's a very nice concept. But I would I would suggest to you not to be not to be uh, uh, baited by by not to fall by this concept and treat your art career. If you want to be an artist uh, full time for a living or whatnot, treat your art career like a business. Like an actual business. Start thinking about start thinking about growth and expansion. Start thinking about hiring people. Start thinking about uh, opening a, a, a like move away from your garage. Start start thinking about maybe opening a studio, maybe opening a retail shop, maybe start moving away from that and start thinking more as a small business. Being an artist is a small business. Uh, being an artist for a living, right? This is what studios were. Studios essentially were workshops, right? I mean, that's essentially what it is. And then they sent their work to a retail space, which was a gallery. Today, you can be both. Today, I mean, today actually, not you. Not only you can be both, you should be both. You should have total control and also send out to galleries and also send out, but you should have full control so that you're always creating income streams. You should be you should be having a, a your workshop also be be a, a retail shop and, and 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 from there do something online and and you know have different things maybe have painting classes I see some of the some of the artists that are that are that are doing something that are a bit more 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 in famous in the marketplace they're doing everything. You know they're doing everything. They're doing classes. They're doing uh, their their presentations. They keep doing exhibits. They work online, so they have different income streams. Now, depending on how much they do, the income stream is going to be right. If they do very little of this, they're going to have a short income stream from that. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's it's whatever you want. At the end of the day, it's whatever you want. What what I am suggesting here is the whole idea of artpreneur is very sexy it's very it's 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 it sounds good you know it's like oh yeah art, artpreneur yeah i want to be that i want to be that person the artpreneur i want to i want to work a few hours a day make make a painting go have a cup of coffee come back i i did this the first the first years of my of my uh career as a full-time artist i did this i would go into the studio make a few paintings and once I started figuring out, right, because in the beginning it was a lot of work, and then I started figuring out how to how to do a bit of less work and how to do the the lifestyle thing. Well, well, it was very nice, and it was um, I don't know, you know, you get to walk around downtown, and, and you know, you're like, oh my god, it's time to get back to the studio. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the studio. And then I did a painting, and then I would go back and, and to a bar and grab a little beer and just kind of chillax and 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 no weekend, like, like not working on the weekends and whatnot. It felt good, right? It felt good, but right away I started feeling this this need, maybe because I wanted more, right? But this need to start moving up. Start moving up. 
because because I, I I knew that I had started setting on resting on my laurels, and it's my it's my thought that this happens a lot to artists. They they reach a point where they think they've reached success, and they start sitting on their laurels. How many artists have you met that were that were doing something good in their community? I don't know that they, they they had exhibits. And then they just kind of hit a flat line. And they didn't go beyond that. And not necessarily because they didn't want it. I, I've talked to a few of them. It's not because they didn't want it. It's because they hit a comfort zone. See, the, the comfort, your comfort level is the thing that is going to just destroy you completely. And I'm, you know, I'm, of course, I'm talking about figuratively here. Your comfort level is the thing that's going to keep you. It's going to make sure that you stay that you, that you hit a ceiling. This comfort level can start from you making a thousand bucks a month, five thousand bucks a month, ten thousand bucks a month, even a even hundred thousand bucks a month. It doesn't matter. You will hit a comfort level. You know, you'll hit a comfort level that it's going to start, it's going to keep you from, from, from moving. And, 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 and reaching your potential. This comfort level is very scary and it's very, uh, it's very dangerous because it's accepted by everybody. See, people are gonna start telling you that you're doing great already. This is what people told me, you're doing great already. Why, 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 what do you, what do you wanna keep working and keep moving? But I understood that I had hit a flat line that I had hit a ceiling, that I had become comfortable at a place. And while that felt good for a short period of time, I started paying the price for that. And so did my family, people around me, people that I was taking care of, people that I was that, that I was responsible for start paying the price. So, you ready, Mia? Uh, five more minutes, I just got a question. Okay. So, as an artist, I would suggest to you guys, look, when you, when you feel like you hit that comfort level, you feel like, oh, yeah, I'm doing great. I'm making, I don't know, a couple, couple thousand bucks extra a month or 5,000 bucks a month or whatever. Selling my artwork, I'm making a living or whatever, 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 whatever doing good is for you. Uh, when you hit that level, break it. Get out of it as fast as possible. Go higher. The reason is not because of the money, guys. Some people think that. Some people think, "Well, do you want? Do you need more money?" It's not the money. It's 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 not the the income. Although that's that's nice to have, but it's not that. Is that you'll start throwing the towel, little by little, and you start doing less. You start you you're gonna start feeling like like any point where you are. If you sit there, if you just sit there. You're going to start feeling like there is no need to do more. So your output is going to become lower. You're going to become busier. You're going to become busier. And I'm not saying this to discourage anyone, but, but be very careful of this. Your, your, out, your outflow, your output, your work, it's your productivity level will significantly drop, right? But this... Let's 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 um let's put it this way. This will drop, and this will expand. Also, you're gonna have all kinds of problems, all kinds of shit. Like, oh my god, I have to I have to clean the studio up. I have to do this. I have to go buy paint. Oh my god, I forgot to buy paint. Like, you're gonna start having a lot of minutia problems, and your productivity will drop. This this I've seen this over and over with artists. The moment that they hit a, a comfort level, they become they become um, uh, they become behave they start behaving like like small business owners that are that are having a hard time right right away they're having a hard time that are that are like uh, oh well I was gonna market but then again you know I don't want to bother people but I don't have marketing. Uh, I don't have marketing dollars, so I'm not. I'm gonna wait. Maybe next month. They start having all the all the stupid little problems, like little problems, rather than being like, 
oh my God, I'm moving. When you're moving, you're not thinking like that. When you're moving, everything becomes a possibility. Like, oh yeah, I'm going to market there. And I'm, oh, uh, this opportunity came out on this magazine. I'm going to go do that as well. When you're moving, when you're actually moving at speed, one, you don't even feel like you're working. It doesn't even feel like work. It feels like you're, like you're playing a game. When you're slowing down and you want to be like, oh, this is a great spot. I'm selling, I don't know, a thousand bucks a month extra or 2,000 bucks or 5,000 bucks selling my artwork. Uh, this is a great spot. Uh, I'm making a living as an artist. Yeah, that's great. Um, I have an exhibit here and, and I'm going to take things, you know, cautious. This is what people say. I take things cautious. I'm going to play my cards well. And, and it's, guys, it is the killer. Being cautious. Playing your cards well, uh, taking your time. Um, these are all things that people say when they give up. They just don't know that that, that they're giving up uh, because 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 they're afraid. They're they're sitting on their laurels. This is the kind of shit that I told myself. Once I started reaching, uh, selling ten thousand dollars a month in artwork, I started saying to myself. Oh my God, I'm doing so great. I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna and I'm gonna create a plan to retire and blah blah. And I was like, after like a couple of years like that, I was like, man, well this this feels this seems stupid. It doesn't seem right, you know. No matter how much I work, right? Okay, because you you end up in a loop. Listen to what I'm saying here, guys. You end up in a loop. Because you're doing the same thing, right? You're trying to create the same $10,000 or $5,000, whatever it is, right? In my case, I was trying to recreate the same $10,000. You end up falling in a loop. So you're so, so basically what you're doing is that you're you're treating it as a job. When, when a, an art career or a business, right? I call it rather a business than a career. It's something that you do to trend up. You don't believe me? Look at Renoir and Monet. This this bastard's painted till they die. Look at Frida Kahlo. It is a trend that goes up. It is a trend. Not just not just in business, but it's a trend of personal. It's a it's a it's a personal matter. It's a it's a it's a personal uh, commitment. Right? It's a trend that goes up. If, if you see any of these artists, uh, don't think about an artist. Think about anyone else. Any, anyone done anything in, 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 in the business world. They don't want to stop working. Look at Warren Buffett. They don't want to stop working. It is not, the, it is not that they're addicted to money. It's not that they're... Renoir wasn't painting when, when he had... His hands were, 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 were in massive pain. He wasn't painting because he wanted more money. He was one of the wealthiest people in, in France at that time. He wasn't painting because of that. He was painting because there was this personal commitment to excellence. He was in personal commitment to, his ex, to excellence. Renoir, Monet, anyone. Think of anyone. You know, uh, uh, what's this guy's name? Uh, the, the Mexican artist, uh, um, Rivera, Diego Rivera, any of them. Think of anyone. Andy Warhol. It's a personal commitment to, 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 to reach higher levels. Some people can't. Some people have, have uh, emotional, you know, uh, very, like, I don't know, some, some artists like, um, who can I think of? Jackson Pollock, right? Very, very strong emotional things working, personal demons, uh, Basquiat, right? Um, but regardless of had this, had these people handled their personal emotional thing, uh, they would have done the same thing. Keep going up. They would have kept going up. It's a trend because success is a state. It's not. What I've learned is that it's not a. It's not a place you reach, or it's not a resource, or anything. It's it's a it's a state. This is why I do the the the, the morning uh, talks with you guys. This is what I do the the 
the hammer times because I, I started realizing that success is a state it is a state that you put yourself into and that the only way is up because it it is the natural progression the only way is expansion right it's up it's expansion it's 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 more but not from an egoic or oh, I, I need to have more things no I need to express more I need to create more I need to grow as an artist you'll see this with with many of the of the of the artists that are that are moving and shaking it's not enough to just create great art they need to go exhibit it it's not enough to just exhibit it they need to go sell it they need to they need to expand it's not enough to just sell it they need to create prints from it and, and it, there's this expansion right there's this expansion while they continue to create they're wearing the hat of the media right they're wearing the hat of the salesperson and but they continue to create there's this there's this beautiful thing that it's this love to work and I'm not talking about work as in when people are like, oh, the person's a workaholic. Or I, I've been called this. I've been called workaholic. I've been called all these things. It's not that, guys. It's that I believe that work is a gift from 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 God, or the gods, if you're if you're a, a agnostic. <laughs> work is a gift, and any idea of lifestyle chill you know uh do less and get more it's 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 almost criminal to me because in work it's where the mind rests the mind rests in work men and i'm talking about not from a misogynistic point but, but people right in general people need to stay busy but passionately busy not busy as in I'm doing something, I'm doing something. No, like passionately. Com people need convictions. They need commitments towards something. Because it's, it's, what makes, it's what makes us excellent. People need to work. I believe that a person that stops working, uh, and many people claim like, oh my God, I, I, I'm doing so well. I made investments and I don't work anymore. If you start seeing people like that, they start becoming they start becoming kind of sad, kind of kind of tired. I, I've met people like that. We're like, oh, I've, I've I've reached all the levels of success in my life. I'm, I'm like bullshit. As long as you're alive, no flower, no flower, meaning a human being, ever stops opening. As long as you're alive, it starts. It it continues to bloom. If it no if it's no longer blooming. You're 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 dying, and I'm and I'm again I'm talking about figuratively. It needs to bloom. It needs to bloom. You need to you need to reach higher levels of success. You need to you need you you need to go after more, and I'm talking about more in in personal commitment. The 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 the, the art sales, the money, the the, the recognition, the, the books, the whatever that shit will follow you. It'll follow you if you if your personal commitment is high. If your personal commitment is high, that will follow right behind you. It's it's sniffing you. It's right behind you. This is why people are like, oh my god, they wrote a book. They did this. They did that. It's not necessarily because they're like they went and wrote a book. No, it's because their commitment was so high, and all of these opportunities are tracking them. You know, all these opportunities. This is one of the things that I've learned. The, the more you do, the more you can do. The more you do, the more these things follow you. These opportunities start sniffing you like hungry dogs behind you. And and uh, I just want to share that with you guys right now. I'm going to go to the studio. It's uh, going to be almost 6 a.m. And let's do this. Let's get to work. Take care, guys. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm the world's greatest living artist. Don't listen to people out there that tell you that you should work less and, and live more. It's, it's, it's almost criminal. The more you work, the more you live. That's the way I see it anyways. Take care. Bye-bye.